Hi everyone, my name is Shimangi. In this short workout session, or maybe I should say stretching session, we're going to put the emphasis on the front of the thighs. We are all familiar with stretching the back of the legs or trying to work on our splits. Um, but this time the focus is on the front because if this area is tight, it actually could affect the development of your strength training. Maybe your squats are not as good. And it could also affect the back of your leg. Your legs could be off balance. So I'm assuming that your legs are already warm. Maybe you did the legs on fire workout part one or part two. And then you can have a seat or maybe even lie on your side. It doesn't matter on which side you start. Try to grab the ankle. Now, if that's already hard, what you could do is grab a towel, put that around your ankle and then gently pull that towards you with emphasis on gently. Try to relax the shoulder. Put on your favorite music. And let's go to the other side. You can also turn your back towards me. I'm not going to do that, of course. So gently push your hip forward, knee to the back. There are actually quite a few variations of doing this stretch. You can even lie down on your stomach and then grab one leg or maybe even both. you can let go of your foot. Now I'm going to bring my left leg forward, right leg if possible. Push it to the back. If that's too hard, you keep the back leg bent. If you want to make this a little bit more intense, you just push your foot a little bit further forward. Now try to reach for the foot. You can use your towel once again. Gently pull your legs towards you, push your hip down. You can stay here or take a deep breath in and come forward while you breathe out. Let go of your foot. Now bring your right knee forward, left leg to the back. You can keep the back leg bent or try to reach for the foot once again. And when you're ready, come forward. Gently let go of the foot and lie down on your back and place your right thigh over the left one. Push your knees towards you and then try to grab the feet. Now if they are too far away, maybe you should try to reach for the shin. Your feet should be about the same height as the knees. Push your feet down with your hands, but press your feet against the hands. So, hands down, pushing up. Legs aren't going anyway, anywhere. And squeeze your thighs together. Maybe gently press your shoulders down and your lower back into the mat. I'm still pushing. So 
or let's say you have to go to the toilet and the urgency from level 1 to 10 is level 13 so keep squeezing and let go of your feet let's go to the other side this side could be easier or harder and at first I feel the stretch in the hip area, but if I keep squeezing my thighs together, I feel it there as well, my quads. It's all connected together, the hip area, the quads. Keep squeezing, press your shoulders down, lower back into the mat. go. We roll up and maybe you can go two hands and knees in one smooth move or maybe several not so smooth moves. Doesn't matter at the end of the day. Step forward with one leg. I'm going to start with my left leg. Leaning forward. So this is where I usually start feeling the hip area. But now I'm going to try and reach for the foot. Where are you? There you are. You can also consider grabbing the foot with the other hand. And maybe drop the lower arm. And gently let go of the foot. We go back to hands and knees, step forward with the other leg. Leaning forward. And then once again we try to reach for the foot. to try it with the other hand. I would almost forget this part. I wonder why I would forget this. Oh my quad. If you go up too fast, you might get a little bit dizzy. So feet together, bring one foot to the back. And you either reach for the foot with one hand and then pushing it away or both of them. Take your time, one hand, maybe two. gently lower the foot. Maybe you want to give your legs a little shake and give yourself a pat on the back. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this really works for you. Bye!